We're Eamon and Beck, and for the last 10 years, we've been fairly nomadic, mostly backpacking, living out of vans, or spending time at our Canadian cabin in the woods. For the last two months, we've been loving van life along the Baja Peninsula of Mexico. So much so that we've decided to move here. It's a beautiful morning to look for properties. Today, we're on the hunt for property and we'll be looking at everything from empty lots that we can build from scratch on, to fixer uppers. Oh my God. To our dream home that's already built. I figured it would all have this oasis feeling. It's actually quite rare. That's a mango pit or it's cow poo. Damon and I are seriously considering putting in an offer. Like we might be moving to Mexico. Day one of the hunt for a place in Mexico begins. This trip that we're currently on was only supposed to be a month, so you can see that we love Mexico. We feel more grounded, more happy, more alive when our feet are in the sand in the morning and we don't have to put on a parka to go outside. The fact that we don't want to leave, we love it here, the culture, the food, the people. Oso is so happy doing his beach walks, making doggy friends everywhere he goes. It just really got us thinking about Mexico as a place we could spend our winters. And as we get closer to hopefully grounding even more with babies and a family, I think the idea of full-time travel is a little less appealing. And having bases like the cabin and a sweet spot here in Mexico would be, I don't know, just the most amazing, beautiful life. I guess Oso's tired. He's walking himself home. Oso! Another major plus for Mexico. Even when you think it's gonna be a cold, maybe even rainy day, the sun comes out. Just a perfect day in paradise. You want some yum yum? Wait. Okay. Cheers to homemade coffee, which normally wouldn't feel like the biggest deal ever, but without electricity for a week. It's a really big deal. So I think what happened is we plugged in and pulled too much current and melted one of the cables. Oh my God, the voltage is going ballistic. Really? Should yeah. I be singing here? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it took a while to diagnose and then took another while to find the right parts. We have finally sorted the system and up until today, it has felt like a tin tent. <laughs> <laughs> but this is one of the other reasons that we're really open to land and property. Van life has been a lot of fun for six years. I just think we're getting old. <laughs> or we're getting to the point where these weeks that nothing works just seem to take their toll. Oh, see you fam. Hi. I'm back now so you don't get to just steal my seat. You almost forgot your slippers. Yeah, and this guy just thinks he owns the front seat. Oh, so. Down. He gets down for one second, then he gets back up. Watch. <laughs> the roads. I didn't miss these roads, though. While we were kind of complaining about van life earlier, I'm really grateful that we had a van to live in and explore this Baja Peninsula to the point where we feel like we know a place enough to want to live there. And the location we've come to love is here in Pescadero. Pescadero is a small farming village along the Pacific coast here in Baja California Sur. It's only 15 minutes away from Todos Santos, which makes it about an hour north of Cabo San Lucas. It's close to several amazing beaches. There's a gas station, a grocery store, and an amazing farmer's market. Also, we were just chatting about a piece of land we saw back in 2019 when we were here. It was going for $40,000. Which I wanted to buy. <sighs> it's currently going for, or has sold for? 120. Anyone you meet, <laughs> that is in a van or traveled down here, they're like, oh, I'd like to look at land. I know. So we're not the only ones that are getting sucked yeah, in. Yeah, this is it's not. It's a bit of a movement. If you're anything like me, you'd be wondering how on earth you even begin to look for properties. Where do you find a real estate agent? That's where Eamon comes in. How did you find Tobias? Only fans. 
<laughs> Pretty much. No, uh, just basically through connection. Our friends who own Cien Palmas, this really cool hotel. Tobias sold it to them. They said he's a good guy. I trust them. Meet Tobias. Okay, are you ready to show us some stuff? Hey guys. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's go. He looks like a gringo, but he's actually Mexican. <laughs> okay. How would you describe the current market? in two words or three words still growing exponentially <laughs> the people all over the world they realized baja in mexico is so much more free than yes. anywhere else and that's why i feel like we still have lots of growth and there's more to come he knows what to say to the buyers <laughs> the way we see it there are three options for us when buying land here starting with buying an empty piece of land there's the road it's pretty private Fence is quite intimidating. Welcome to the mango pit. This here is about an acre and a quarter, and it's in Pescadero. There's absolutely nothing here. Well, so that's not true. We'd be starting from scratch. There's mango trees. Okay. And palm know. trees. Yeah. And vegetation. Which, believe it or not, when I first was thinking about buying land in Mexico, I figured it would all have this oasis feeling, and it's actually quite rare. So you're usually dealing with just desert and maybe a cactus or two, to get this shaded tree lot, you're paying quite a bit more for it. Look, that's a mango pit. Oh, I thought that was cow poo. Or it's cow poo. <laughs> it's a mango, it's a mango. Let's go with mango. I'm really bad with directions, but the beach is here. No, behind us. Oh. That's, that's the town where the gas station is. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, look at how close you are to this guy. Neighbor. Neighbor, that's actually an RV park. I don't love that. My initial gut when coming to the property is wasn't much of a wow factor, but as we get further to the end, it's quite lush. Grass, look at the greens. Look at the greens and blues, greens and blues, blues and greens. Build a swimming pool right here. Yeah. The thing I don't love about this property is that it's very long, so you feel your neighbors on either side of you. There's a development just down the road from where we're looking that was selling pre-built places. So we're just kind of driving through that community to see, you know, the architecture and what they've done. It's pretty fancy. Yeah, it's nice. Property number two is also just a vacant piece of land. It is only half an acre. It's rather underwhelming. They are asking $1.4 million. What? And the only reason that makes any sense is because of this. It's also an incredibly skinny lot. So there's a property gonna be beside you and then the other side. And this one has nothing. No amenities, no water. You're buying the land. You know? There's one palm tree and one cactus. If you're dreaming about being barefoot, I don't think that would happen for a really long time. There's a cleanup on aisle 12. See all these? <laughs> this is basically our beachfront property. Full of I don't even stuff. think we can walk it, look. Yeah. One point, what? This is all in US dollars, by the way. Yikes. Option two, as we see it, is you buy a piece of land that has a fixer upper on the property. After the cabin year we spent, we told ourselves we would never do that again, but here we are, seriously considering it. This piece of land is a quarter of an acre. It is only two or three rows back from the ocean, so you definitely have like that ocean breeze and feel to it. And we're actually kind of excited about it so far. We've got palm trees on either side, so it does feel quite private. Do we get to check out the house? Yeah. This fixer-upper option is actually quite rare here in Mexico. So this is one of the only listings that is kind of like this. Good windows. Good security. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this is like a little kitchen space. Indoor, outdoor. When you're inside, you're ready to go outside. And when you're outside, Stop you're still that joke. inside. Nobody knows it. It's a real dude. Everyone's going to get it. And what is this, like an outdoor kitchen? There's a penis drawing. Okay. I think someone might have done something here. We're gonna need to wash that. Yeah, for sure. Some more graffiti in the bathroom. Is there a poop in the toilet? I'm not checking that. I'll check it. Sink. Poop or no poop? Leave it, let it. No poop. I think there's a poop. There used to be a poop. Yeah, that's gross. <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. 
Small, eh? Oh my gosh! This is taking indoor outdoor living to a whole new level. <laughs> but you know what? what? If you look past the trash, you've got black windows, a little bit of paint, you change the floor, the oasis feelings here. Yeah. You're, you're, look at the ocean, dude. Come on out. You're such a visionary, Eamon. You know, you just, this actually has good vibes. The thing I'd be concerned about, Tobias, is like, is yeah, this just course. surface cracking? Oh, well, this looks structural, so. So what do you need, an engineer to come you need in? an inspection on that, yeah. If the same guy who built the outdoor wall built the house, then we've got concerns. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh that my. That might be gosh. job number one. Okay. I mean, this could be just a tear down too. You know, there's open room. So you do some landscaping, you do another casita over there mm -hmm. for Bob, Jerry, Don Moreg. Whenever Eamon has this much energy towards a project, I get a little nervous. <laughs> You're a little too excited for my liking. And the washroom's in pretty good shape. It's got potential. I like it. I know, I do too. Tobias, <laughs> 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 you'll take it. Let's go see if it gets any better downstairs. Also, it's been on the market for quite a few months now, so we're thinking nobody's crazy enough to tackle it probably for a good reason but nobody has the cojones eh? <laughs> this is like a garage this is basically like a casita like a one bedroom no kitchen it's a one better yeah we can't have children here Eamon I isn't know. that the point I could just build a casita <laughs> See. With, the with the baby in the casita mucho yeah. casitas <laughs> but I think we could rent this out this could be I like know. a rental opportunity no or... I've re I'm, I'm excited by it honestly I did not expect to feel the way I feel about it but I'm also hyped can up. you see anything underneath there hello <laughs> anyone in there we're hopping back in the van because we're gonna head over to Toto Santos for another property viewing hi yes good boy welcome to Toto Santos we're talking about community. This would be very attractive to me. It's a much bigger city, and this next property is much more of a house. So it's a smaller lot, but it's quite finished and done. Which is kind of nice, but not a lot of adventure. Ready? You want a piece of bread? Uh, sure. <laughs> well, thank you. You're welcome. And the third option for purchasing would be a house that's already completed. Sounds almost boring, to be honest, but we're gonna go check it out just to see what we could get and see what it would feel like to have a completed house. So this lot here, which is just a little bit less than half an acre. Oh, wow. Whoa. Nice. This is cool. Very unique property here. <laughs> have you ever had a dog? I feel like the dog would love that. Oso would just lie right in there at all times and run around. Yeah. yeah. It'd be a disaster. Very kid friendly. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the one bedroom. Here's a bidet. We love a bidet. When you walk into a finished home, especially after being at the Fixer Upper, it feels really nice. Like, I bet you there's no poop in this toilet. <laughs> I'm not going to check just in case. I can almost guarantee there isn't. It smells lovely. It does. And that's your view. The big patio out here. Nice view. So no shower whatsoever, just this jacuzzi. I've never seen you take a bath in your life. We're going up the spiral staircase towards the roof deck. Oh yeah, this is cool. Welcome to the casita. Just a one bedroom and a bathroom. You wanna live here, Bob? Hey, Bob. <laughs> What's and in the, the toilet, Bob? <laughs> so there is a shower on the property. Yeah. It's an outdoor shower it's attached to the little casita. That's cool. She also owns this lot, so it'd be a full acre total. But this lot, she actually lost the deed, or the paperwork, so it might take a little bit longer to get this one. That's what they're kind of explaining. And she just lets this guy live here, rent free. Hey, buddy. 
Are you a nice guy? Yeah, you're a nice guy. Have a great day. <laughs> okay. Team debrief. Honestly, I'm shocked at how much I like that. Driving in, I said, I don't think I want to live in Toto Santos. It feels way too claustrophobic, but I could breathe easy there. Yeah, it's a pretty special spot. Like there's it a was. great energy in that house, but limiting baby. I know. Like, what about the kids? Okay, so this next location is quite a bit further remote. 26 minutes north. When I drive, it's 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, let's he go. just told us to buckle up, so get ready. <laughs> the area we're headed towards is called Algo Blanca. There's nothing out here, like not even a store to get a Coca Cola. This guy does drive really fast. I love it. <laughs> A Red Bull if you're looking for a new driver. <laughs> Tobias. <laughs> Woo! Although the land is going to be a lot cheaper out here in Agua Blanca, you might spend it all at the mechanic shop <laughs> getting new suspension. <laughs> okay, we just passed the last electricity pole. Off grid power, off grid water, off grid everything. Off grid Coca Cola. That's probably the guy also was chasing last week. Uh... All done, all done, all done. Yeah. Ah, subscribe? Here's my YouTube. What? Amen and Beck. <laughs> Tobias, what happened? Uh, we just got stopped because they know my car for illegal activities. Um, they said <laughs> <and then> just <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my God. Just, a, just a routine. I turned to Eamon and I said, you want me to move here? <laughs> I don't think so, that was so intense. No, I actually think those police officers were legit and I, I think they were doing their job. So yeah. in the end, the police officers were very nice and even took a Eamon and Beck sticker. So we got some new subscribers maybe. I even took the SD card out of the drone because I thought they might confiscate it for whatever reason. You're so good, Eamon. Nice, nice. Yeah. We passed it. Oh. Again. In all that hoopla, we passed it. Right. We've arrived to another vacant lot, but it turns out that this is already under contract, which means we just missed the mark if this all goes through. It so might be that's for the what best. these guys are doing. They're doing like topography measurements or something. We're gonna try to make it to the beach just to check it out. Whoa! It's literally a bunch of nothing, but it's so beautiful. Can you see Eamon and Beck hosting retreats here? I can't. <laughs> We're in the middle of nowhere. We almost got put in Mexico prison. Will. <gasps> Whoa! God, it's such a toss up between like community, location. Community, community. Hey neighbor, see ya. Tobias was saying they sometimes have like underground techno raves here. I'll come for the techno rave, but not I'm not bad. moving to La Bl La Agua Blanca. <laughs> Agua boring. I guess that's it. We're feeling slightly defeated. Eamon and I just went out for lunch and we're daydreaming about living at the Fixer Upper. Then we got a call from Tobias saying... Major confusion there. It's gone. Yeah, they have an accepted offer. They got an accepted offer this morning. Um, and the information was not uh, updated until now, and it went under contract around five hundred thousand dollars. Oh, wow, it's so sold for over five asking. over asking. Yeah, it's been listed three months, and then all of a sudden it goes over asking. I guess I don't know. There's nothing we can do about yeah. that because it's in contract now. It's been accepted, so it's been accepted, but it still could fall through, right? For whatever reason, like. Yes. So basically, <laughs> even if you spend all day looking at properties, they might not even be available. Yeah. The market's hot, man. I was really keen on that one. I loved its like location and the walkability and... Okay. Okay, back to the drawing board. Right? Yep. Oh, so needs a walk. Hello. 
Time to scope out another property. Very excited to show this one to Beck. I was here about a week or a week and a half ago. All right, today is January 19th, and this one I'm really excited about. It's not actually on the market, and it's got a lot of mature trees in a really hot neighborhood. So it's a little out of my price range, but we're gonna go have a look. You know it's a unique property when the realtor's taking a video. Yeah. For shorties oh. only. Beans, this is perfect yeah. for you. And you haven't stopped talking about it. It's amazing. <laughs> it's, I mean, you're gonna see. Feels like it's really unique for the area um, in terms of the vegetation and things. So perhaps it's our future dream home. Off we go. Ah, I'm so pumped. <laughs> First thing of note, the road to the property is very bumpy, which is kind of to be expected here in Baja. Most roads are really bumpy. But Eamon and I are just here a little early exploring the area. And now we're at the beach. Not too far, maybe 10 minute walk, five minute drive. Come on. <laughs> are you trying to sell me on this <laughs> property? Cause I'm sold. I can feel your energy. You're very excited. Uh, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. I'm already like picturing taking Oso down a walk on that road we just drove, morning beach routine. It's very calm, very right clean. There. Oh my gosh. There's so many freaking whales here, dude. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. hola. Welcome to the Oasis. This last property is a pocket listing, which means it's not on the market yet. It's around 1.2 acres in size and already has multiple casitas and structures built on the land. No doors, just open concept, but really, I don't know, it just moves, doesn't it? <laughs> just keep moving in a circle. Oh, back here to the bathroom. Look at this, the way the light I love it. hits through there, it yeah. sends the red cue oh, into the bathroom. Look at this shower. Isn't that cool? This is nice. You picture yourself having a little baby here? <laughs> Giving him a wash. Yeah. Another private toilet. What we've really loved as we've walked through this piece of property is the oasis feel that you get when you're here. There are also two casitas built on the property which are both circular and have no separate rooms or walls inside. Over here we have the little kitchen area. Okay, so that's casita number one. We love the idea of fixing these up to be great guest houses for our family and friends when they come to stay and visit us. <laughs> Outdoor shower? Love it. Yeah. Welcome to the viewing deck. Hammock, chilling, sunset. The land itself is a bit overwhelming as there's a lot of landscaping and maintenance that needs to be done around the property. So we'd definitely be dusting off our cabin work boots here. Another exciting yet intimidating piece of this property is that it's entirely off-grid. We think the solar system needs a lot of upgrades. There's a little fire pit back here. Boy, I need some gardening. Okay. To be honest, I'm really overwhelmed in this moment. Not only are we considering this scope of work, like it'll be so much work, but it also means moving our lives to Mexico for a big part of the year because it is so much work. Like we're gonna be living in Mexico, which is amazing and also- Terrifying at the same time. Yeah, overwhelming. It's just overwhelming. The only word I have is overwhelming. Yeah. Hola, buenas. And thanks for taking the time to connect with us. Nice to meet you too. So tell me, what can I do for you today? This feels totally insane, but I'm about to jump on a call with a Mexican lawyer, which is a roundabout way of telling you that Eamon and I are seriously considering putting in an offer. It's crazy because I'm alone here. Eamon's out physically dealing with band stuff. <sighs> and it just all feels so surreal. Like we might be moving to Mexico. <laughs> yeah, so we are a Canadian couple. We're looking at buying property. Let's close right there. 
That's <laughs> done. Another deal. Let's see what happens. Oh, so exciting! The document has been completed. Oh my god. Can you believe it? Yes. The signs are here. Yeah. <laughs>